in our last lesson uh, we created our, our window our gaming window so in this lesson I'm going to make a new directory and I'll call this media and I have a, a program fireworks and I will just make a ball um, that is 50 pixels width and height and I'll save it into the media folder as ball.png so we can um, use it within our game okay so um, I'm going to create a new class I call this ball and within that I'll define an initialize method that this method will accept an argument a window so we'll give it a width of 50 which is the balls width and the balls um, height is also 50 and the X position is the horizontal position and then the Y is the vertical position on the screen so 200 and uh, 200 for the Y okay so the other thing I want to do is bring the image in here so I say go to image and I create a new instance for the image uh, the first argument will be where we want to draw this image in this case I'll say win and then um, the X or sorry the, the name of the actual image that we want to uh, to draw so in this case media border PNG and then true is to have the borders to be solid so I'm going to write another method for draw and this draw method will then uh, draw uh, rotation draw rot so this is for drawing the actual image okay so first we create the instance and then we call the draw rotation on it so it accepts x y depth and angle okay so we could put the depth is zero and angle is zero so uh, that's pretty much um, as far as we can go there and uh, within our game um, class I'm going to start the magic here so we're going to create a new instance of ball and we'll pass the self as, as the window that we want to, to draw the ball in okay um, and in our draw method for game we're going to call the balls draw method so we're drawing the ball in our game window that's what we're doing here right so let's run this and see what happens ruby bounce.rb um, okay there's a, a mistake somewhere on line 9 I've missed a comma just after that okay so this is it so save this and then run the code and we can see the ball has been drawn on x of 200 and y of 200 okay so that's the the first target of, of our, our, our game or making the ball move so the next thing we want to do is go into um, our update method and we want to uh, say target ball dot move so I want to basically say every 60 seconds call this method and of course we haven't defined that method yet so it gives us an error so what we're going to do we're going to the ball class and we'll define um, a move method okay and we'll say um, the X uh, position on the screen plus equals so plus equals is saying whatever the value is on X we want to add onto it so incrementally add onto it so it will just every uh, six times every second it will keep on adding five to the X position so let's run and we can see the ball has moved and it moves right off the screen and that's uh, that's how we get the ball to move basically so that's uh, that's looking good what we could now do is slow it down a little bit and um, remove the hard code that we've done on line 17 so what I'll do I'll create a new instance variable called speed and I'll give it to 1 and on line uh, 18 I'll remove uh, 5 and I'll replace that with speed so it will move uh, more slowly now so if we run it we can see it moves very slowly and it will go right off the, the screen okay so this is uh, the the completion of our first step uh, getting things to to move in the next lesson we'll um, explore um, dealing with things a bit more so i'll see you there